So our next subtopic, our next subtopic is nonlinear systems of equation. Nonlinear systems of equation. That's our next topic. Excuse me, what was it again? Nonlinear systems of equation. This is actually when we are now entering the pre-calculus aspect of these systems of equation. This is this is the one that pre-calculus really wants us to do. The other ones we just did was just to you know um, update your uh, you know remind you because those ones fell into uh, algebra two. Okay, so now let's try to give two systems of uh, let's try to create two. Um, systems of equation, and then well, we will consider how it can be solved. But the, the, the systems of equation we are going to create is not going to be, it is not going to be a linear one. So let's get that uh, straight. So for example, the question could be solve question, solve the equation, and then the equation could be something that looks like this negative x plus y equal to 4 and um, x squared plus y equal to 3 okay so if you take a look if you take a look at these two equations you may discover that you may discover that the first one is linear the second one is not why is the first one linear the first one is linear because you can express it as um you can express it as y equal to mx plus b the second one because if you just transfer or considering the first one if you just transfer if you just transfer this negative x to the right side then that will give you um that will give you if you transfer it to the right side that is going to give you y equal to x which is now going to be positive plus four so in that case your slope is one over one on the other hand considering the second one this is the first one considering the second one if you transfer negative x squared no if you i'm sorry if you transfer x squared to the right side you are going to obtain you are going to obtain y equal to negative x squared plus three so you can see you can see that for it to be linear the exponent of x must be one and once the exponent of x is two then that's quadratic so which means the second one is a quadratic equation okay so basically the two equations we are going to solve by our rearrangement the two equations we are going to solve is um y equal to x plus 4 and y equal to negative x squared plus 3 okay so in order for us to solve this we have to take one value of y and substitute it to the other so this is uh you, you can relabel this as equation 3 and you can relabel this as equation 4 just for identification purposes just for identification purposes so we can substitute equation equation one three to four so you say substitute substitute three into four all right so if we do that we are going to have that x plus four is equal to negative x squared plus three then you can transfer the right side everything on the right side you can transfer it to the left side so once you transfer it to the left side so that means x squared to the left side becomes positive um uh, x squared so you have x squared plus x plus four then the ne the positive three here is going to turn to negative then minus three equal to zero so now if you simplify for that simplification is going to give you x squared plus x uh, 4 minus 3 is uh, 1 then plus 1 equal to 0 and this turns to a pure 
quadratic quadratic function. So this is a quadratic function. So now, considering that it is a quadratic function, you have to remember different ways of solving quadratic function. And um, you can use formula, you can use factorization, you can use completing of the square, whichever way that works for you. So if we place it in form of ax squared plus bx, just give me one second, ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. Yeah, go ahead with your question. Um, we, when you say substitute, all you did was put the equal sign. So I'm not plugging it in with the X or no. I'm just putting an equal sign to- Yeah, so an if you look at equation three, you will see it is Y equal to um, X plus four. Equation two is Y equal to negative X plus three. So all you're doing is you're taking this and then you're plugging it right here, okay? Now, the, the, the only reason why I have to come to this step right now is just for illustration purpose. Because if you look at, if you look at the first one, you can, just, you can just solve for y on the first one and then plug it to equation two. And that's going to give you the same result. All right, so now let's use a formula to solve this very quickly. Let's use quadratic formula. Remember, what's the quadratic formula? Remember, yeah, what is that? Neg uh, B plus minus. Formula always two has two sides. Formula always has two sides. The, the left side is what? X negative B plus. equal to, yeah, go ahead. Negative B plus or minus square root of B squared minus 4AC divided by 2A. Is that correct? So, now, if you're taking a look at our, our uh, quadratic formula, which is this, you will see that A is one, B is one, and C is one. So we just plug in the numbers. So X is going to give us negative one plus or minus square root of one squared minus four times, four times what? Four times one times C is also one and then divide by, divide by what? Yes, two times one, all right? So let's simplify a little further. So that's going to give us negative one plus or minus inside the square root, which is the discriminant, you are going to have one minus four. And y minus four is what? Negative three. And that's divide by what? Of course, our negative three is a complex, number square root of uh, negative three is going to give us three multiplied by square root of i'm sorry square root of three multiplied by square root of one and square root of one negative one rather square root of negative one is negative uh is i so you have square root of three i so this is our x so our x is equal to negative one over two plus or minus square root of three i over two. All right, so, so that x one is negative one over two plus square root of three over two i. And then x two, x two becomes negative one over two minus square root of three over two i. So these are your two solutions. All right, any question so far? Any question? All right, the key, let me repeat the key. The key is look at the two equations that are given, consider one of them, use whatever you considered, solve for, you know, rewrite the equation to get your y, and then substitute back your equation into the second equation. That's the key, that, and that's what I did here. So, um, that's what I did here. I had to solve for y here, which is x plus four. I just plug in it back into this place. 